Just when we thought the running back market was dead, NFL GMs decided to bust open their checkbooks. I'm Jimmy Bishrat, a financial advisor and your go-to guide on all things sports business. As day one of NFL free agency concludes, we have already seen over $200 million in deals signed by NFL running backs alone. Let's take a look at some of the winners and losers of this year's free agency. Saquon Barkley is headed to the Eagles for a three-year deal worth up to $38 million, and $26 million of that will be guaranteed at signing. After DeAndre Swift proved that really anybody can be successful behind Philly's O-line, I think Saquon's the real winner here. Another shocking headline, future Hall of Famer Derrick Henry will be joining two-time MVP Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens for a two-year deal that only guarantees him $9 million. I think the Ravens won this deal outright considering they have a legendary player for pennies on the dollar. This move might be their ticket to next year's Super Bowl. After a disappointing season, Josh Jacobs still found himself with a booming $48 million contract to head to Green Bay for the next four years of his career. Considering only roughly a quarter of that money is guaranteed, this deal is looking like a lose-lose to me. To conclude this video, we have Chargers letting Austin Eckler walk to Washington for $11 million and bringing in Gus Edwards as a replacement for a near 50% discount. The Chargers will be the real winner here once they draft Harbaugh's protege, Blake Corum. Comment your thoughts on who you think the biggest winners and losers are from this year's free agency. And if you're getting ready for the NFL Draft, be sure to give me a call.